When you show resistors or loads connected in parallel, the water model works really quite well. Besides, it makes a mess and entertains kids. Styrofoam cup filled with water. Often when we're talking about energy, we talk about water at a high level leaking to water at a low level through each load. So for instance, if I have the cup of water, one hole would represent one load in parallel. You can see it leaking out. The second load would be two loads in parallel. Notice that if I close the first load, it has no effect on the second load. So the current through one load has no effect on the current through the second load. And if I put a third hole in, same sort of thing happens. Students can also understand that if I want to keep the level of water in the top uh, at the same level, I'd have to pour more and more water in as the water leaks out through more and more loads. Resistors in parallel are much like resistors leaking energy through different loads. Another thing this can show is that different size bulbs connected in parallel have different currents. For instance, if you have a small bulb, very little current energy is lost through the small hole. If you have a larger bulb beside it, represented with a larger hole, it obviously takes more current. More energy is released through the second bulb. This bulb would burn brighter. Students sometimes ask what happens in a short circuit. In this case, you have one uh, load in parallel leaking out water, and then a second load which becomes very large and essentially all of the water leaks through the short circuit, leaving almost nothing to go through the load.